Welcome to Right on the Mark with your host, Mark Young. Today, I'm preparing a very special drink. In fact, it's another request from one of my clinical colleagues at work. So the name of this drink is called a Red Red Rita. It's along the lines of a sister or brother of Red Red Margarita, if you know what I mean. But anyway, welcome back to my channel with my drink of the week. And we're post Halloween right now, but I thought it'd be fun to make one of these requests, which is almost Halloween-y. So let me go over the ingredients. So we got some tequila. We have some blood oranges. In fact, it is a Dracula blood orange right here. Another blood orange. If you want to know the difference between a regular orange and a Dracula blood orange, there it is. That's the difference. We have a lime there. We have some salt to kind of rim the glass because remember we're making a margarita, kind of. Like a red Rita, but same thing. We have a mixing tin and we have some blood orange juice. And it's a little bit redder than your normal orange juice. So I've never had this drink, but Monica has been asking me every week, when am I gonna make this drink? When am I gonna make this drink? So I'm like, today's the day, we gotta do it. So keep the comments coming. I got a long a laundry list of names to go through to put some requests out there. So once I get through all those requests, I'll go back to the board. But right now, let's have some fun, a little post halloween -y fun. How about that? So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to uh, salt the rim of your glass. All you have to do is have a, a quarter cut lime right here. And then you're going to ever so gently go around the top of your little glass here. Once you have that all nice and coated, all you have to do is dip it right into the salt. Gives you a nice salty rim. I bet this drink's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. So it's going to look just like that. Does that look pretty? Move these oranges out of the way. Now you're going to want to mix with the hard stuff first. So let's go ahead and add some ice to our tin. I think that's pretty good. So the combinations of the mixtures that I have here is like one part of tequila. So we'll go ahead and put a jigger of that in our tin. Cap that. And then you want to put a half a jigger of simple syrup. Now this simple syrup, oh, it's really stuck. Oh. Oh, it's really glued. One hour later. Two hours later. Maybe. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So you want to take the lid off your simple syrup. And you want to do a half a jigger of that. So just turn your jigger over, pour that in there. Just gives it some full bloody, full bloody body. Get it? <laughs> Set your simple syrup there. Now we want to hit it with some limes. I usually just give this a good roll just to uh, loosen up the skin so it's easier to cut and it's easier to smash. Woo. Just like that. Put that down there. Let's go ahead and cut that. It's a lot of fun, folks. Can't wait to taste this. Put your lime down in your lemon squeezy, easy peasy. Put that in your tin. That's a half a part of the lime juice. Take that out. Oh, it's smelling good already. It is smelling good already. Now you're going to want to put some of your blood orange juice in there. Now this is what's going to give it some flavor. It's going to wake it up. It's going to make it happy. It's going to make it all... It's basically going to marry it. So uh, it's going to really look good. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, jigger of that in. Into our tin. Just like that. Now we have everything we need in our tin. 
So let's go ahead and give this a good shake. Cap that, shake it. It's usual you shake it about 15 to 20 seconds till you get that nice little froth on here. And you know what I'm talking about, folks. Nice froth on there. You could see it right there. It's my favorite part of trying to be a bartender is making frosty drinks. So before we pour this, the correct way is pour this over ice. We did the mixing part, so now we're just gonna pour it over ice. And we're gonna see how it comes out. Red, red Rita, coming out. It's a nice pretty color. Look at that, gives you a nice full glass. Almost, it, it's not really orange or red. It's kind of in the mix, in the middle, I should say. So let me go ahead and garnish it with this Dracula Blood Orange. Thank you, Monica, for getting this for me. As a matter of fact, she got most of these ingredients. But anyway, the lovely Kim found the orange juice and I'm using her tequila, so don't tell her. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish it with a blood orange wheel. Now look at that, tell me that doesn't look like blood. Let's try a couple drops, squeeze in there, even make it redder. And then we'll go ahead and cut the wheel. Man, there's all kinds of flavors going on here. Put it on a little stick. Make it all nice and pretty. Just like that. A little post Halloween drink. So if you're having a party this weekend, next weekend, if you're trying to drag out Halloween as long as you can. Uh, I like Halloween, big fan of it. So let's go ahead and keep Halloween alive. But anyway, that is what you call a Red Red Rita. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to see if it's going to taste cool. That's the question. So, Red Red Rita, going in. Ooh, that is good. I'm tasting the salt around the rim, the strong flavor of the Jose Cuervo. I'm tasting the mix of the blood orange and the orange juice, and the ever so slightly hint of the Dracula orange. I don't think it gets any better than this, baby. You know what this means. It's a big bingo, baby. This will take you to the promised land. Stick to the program. I'll get you where you need to be. The Red Red Rita is where it's at. Very simple drink, folks. Orange juice, tequila, lemons, limes, oranges, whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. It's a blast. I think this is a good drink very easy to make it's a very appealing drink i mean it's very pretty so if you're having a party you could do this not only for halloween but you could do it you know we got thanksgiving coming up we got christmas coming up new year's i think it's all gonna be good but i gotta have another taste red red rita going in yet again mm. man is that good I'm digging the salt taste, of course, man. Tequila and salt doesn't get any better than that. But folks, let me tell you, before you try this, make sure you have all the ingredients because I think it makes a special drink. Don't try to use regular orange juice. Don't try to use regular oranges. Get the real stuff, get the real deal. Make it a great drink. Monica, I think you need to redo this and try it. You said yours wasn't as good. This one is the real deal. You gotta do it this way. It's a little bit redder. It's a little bit sweeter with the, uh, with all the ingredients in there. The salt on the rim does it as well. So give it another try. And like I tell everybody, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you wanna recommend a drink. That's all it takes is to recommend a drink in the comment section and then you'll be next. So I got a backlog of people I'm starting to dedicate these drinks to. Monica, that one's for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're going to like, subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any of this and any of this. Until next time, folks, that about wraps it up for Right on the Mark.
with your host, Mark Young. Peace out. That's a good drink. That's a pretty good drink. Wow. I'm like blood that orange. Man. Actually, wow. That's, that's scary. It almost does look like blood. Oh, wow.